Kaz, good to catch up with you again, mate. Well, it's it's that time again. <laughs> it's yep. that time again. Yes, Sunday it is. Session. Sunday session 42. Yep, two weeks from now. Um, everybody in New Zealand knows you, and probably Australia as well, but for some of the people overseas, um, you're the right hand man of Jason Suddy, six time world champion kickboxer, and of course, uh, promoter of King in the Ring, which is the biggest show and has launched fighters like Israel and Dan Hooker and all those guys. Um, just tell us a little bit about how long you've been in the, involved with Jason. Um, I started with Jason in 2002, um, originally from Liga. Um, I started with Liga when I was 15, so I've been doing this for 36 years now, but um, I've been with Jason for 22 years. Um, so I've been around a little while. Um, I don't think everyone knows who I am, but they, I think they see me in the background and kind of know I've got some involvement. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been doing this for 36 years. And yeah, I think it's 2002 I started with Jason. As a fighter, obviously, yeah, but yeah. Um, yeah. And um, you've been sort of the main matchmaker and everything for Sunday Session for a long time. How's uh, Sunday Session 42 uh, coming up? Um, I think, obviously, with Urban Disturbance, uh, the last show and you were there, I had um, probably one of the best cards I've, I've ever done. It was an amazing, amazing card, 14 fights, but no main event. The main event pulled out, whereas this time I've got a, an amazing main event and the, the undercard's been quite a struggle. So um, there's, there's a lot of fights on at the moment, a lot of people trying to push shows in it towards the end of the year. And I think with um, our show on the December 8th, um, there's I think five or six shows on the 7th. So it's just making, um, getting fighters and matchups a little little hard. And then there's there's always the stress of pullouts. I've had two today, so um, I've got a card together. It, it's, it's not the card I want. Um, but I'm grateful for all the gyms that have supported us. I'm always grateful for the gyms. I mean, we get really good support, as you know, Tony. Um, so I thank all the gyms past and, and now, current. Um, I really appreciate your support. And obviously, you know the co pupper of the show. All proceeds um, and all profits go to Phoenix, little Prince Phoenix, uh, Jason and his son, who has cerebral palsy. So this is why we do the show. And it's only the second one of the year. So, yeah, looking forward to it. So how many fights did you end up with in the end? I've got 10 at the moment, so 9 undercard and 1, again, banging main event, as you know, I always go on about it, but the main events um, I'm really grateful for and I can't wait for. Who, who have you got there? It's the w, New Zealand WKBF uh, Super Heavyweight title, Mod Thai. Um, I've got Alex Lethal Lua'ili, um, he's um, fighting um, Tumanako Phillips, who's uh, from Torjim up north. Um, he's a hot young prospect coming through. He's already beaten one of our guys in a points decision, so he's been on my radar for a little while. Um, and uh, Alex's eight fights, seven and one. He's just come off a, a good win in Australia for Dorita Gilbert, who I fought. Um, so it's a good win for him, good points win. So this fight's going to be exciting. Yeah, yeah it certainly is. Uh, and um, just while we've got you here, um, King in the Ring, it's on as well. So. Yeah, um, so it's full on the next couple of weeks. We've got King in the Ring, the 86 kilo eight man uh, lineup this week. And um, as you know, you would have seen a couple of the fighters on Urban Disturbance that are fighting. So we've got Felicica Kavainga, the Carnage. He's fighting to regain his New Zealand WKBF K1 Super Heavyweight title. Um, he was the co main event in Urban Disturbance. And then um, the main event, uh, Mayhem, Tamani uh, Nungatau, he, he's in the eight man. And then we've got um, Craig the Marshall Hughes, we've got Dan Fullpot, Dangerous Fullpot, who's um, one of our hot prospect um, young females coming through. She's fighting Capri from CKB. Um, then we've got uh, Siwali uh, Smooth, Love Am I, he's the reserve fight. So we've got five on this weekend and then nine on the following week. And uh, yes, yeah, the next two weeks are gonna be pretty full on. And the, you're not just doing it on home shores, you're going overseas as well. Yeah, so, um, it's three days after the Sunday show, I take um, Dave Titan Tuitupo and Dominic Slinger Scanlon to Australia. Um, Titan's got a hard fight. Um, the gentleman, uh, Mini Nachia, he's beaten three of our guys. So he's beaten Foa Lam, um, Dave Ruthless Repoma, and Phyllis Seeker for world titles. 
Um, so we're going over there to get a little payback. Um, it's not going to be an easy fight for Dave because the guy, uh, Mini, um, they fight their rules. So there's no knees. It's just kickboxing rules. And he's about my height. So um, that makes it... Everyone thinks that, that it'll be an easy fight for Dave, but it's actually going to be quite a hard fight with someone that short. Why well, say vertically challenged, but um, <laughs> it's going to be a hard, hard fight for Dave. It's good to see him back in action. You know, he's been off the, He hadn't fought for a wee while, Dave. Well, I took him to Canberra um, a few months, I think about six months ago, and he fought for his world title. Um, he fought a tie that had, had nearly 300 fights. Um, it was a hard fight. We lost on points. Um, the decision, I don't know. Um, the tie asked for a rematch after, after he won the title. Um, there was a lot of low blows on Dave. Um, one the, in the first round, a spinning heel kick got Dave flush and it took him out for five minutes. He couldn't recover. So from there, he was visibly uncomfortable, but there was another th four or five low blows after that and um, it, it just really put Dave off. But I, I, I still think he did enough. Um, it was a good fight. That, that tie was tough. D Dave dropped him once um, and then he, he got back up, which I couldn't believe. Um, but yeah, the, the ties asked for a rematch, so I don't know when that's going to happen. Hopefully next, early next year. Oh, well, you're busy as usual. As usual, busy, yes. Oh, well, thanks for coming and talking to us. I appreciate your time and um, support. Su subscribe to Combat TV, support um, Tony, the OG. Uh, before social media, these two were the ones. All right, thanks, Tony. Good on you, man. Wow, you are going to be.